Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam, welcome to the channel, y'all, chash and yakshi mash, good day, y'all. Today I have a very special video, I know I say it every time, but today is very special. Inside this box is not wine, because you guys may probably know that I don't drink. So, let's carefully take the lid off. I'm not going to take a long time with this unboxing. Okay, there's some packaging here on the top. This machine needs lots of protective packaging. When I unbox it, you will see why. Now here we have a brand new cord. <laughs> You're gonna flip when you see this. I swear to God, you will absolutely flip. This is a brand new, and I mean brand new, Brand new, never used, fresh from the factory, Hoover. Look at that. It has still got its original tag on it. Hoover, the symbol of quality. So it hasn't got the price on it, of course. Now I'm going to have to get a cloth, one of my very special cloths. Look at that. So this is the Hoodle Hoover model 652A. And it's, it's, well, you just can't believe how gorgeous this machine is. Look at that brush roll. Look at that motor. It's in fantastic, look at the wheels. Everything, it's, it's, this was sold as new in box. So I'm going to remove the brush roll and probably the original belt. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. There is a tiny little bit of wear uh, corrosion on the um, pulley. I think that is because the belt has been attached to it. And of course the rubber has sort of like marked it a bit, but I'll sort that out and get rid of that. So here we have the switch here. And then also as well on this side here, you may be able to see is the switch that speeds up the motor when you put in the tools at the back. Height adjustment. No, sorry, that's the pedal. This is the height adjustment here. So you've got the height adjustment mechanism there. We've still got the label on the back. This appliance is double insulated and must not be earthed. Hoover Limited, Paravale, Middlesex, England. Now, I don't think this is the original plug with it because I don't think these would have come with plugs. But, okay, so why have I got it here? Why have I got this mint condition Hoover? And the reason is it won't start. So um, it was partially uh, looked at. So the... Um, uh, 
the suppressor can be removed. If I just put a little bit there, there's a couple of smudges on it from when it's been manhandled. There we go. Look at that. I just can't believe it. It's, it either looks like one of my refurbs <laughs> or, uh, you know, like it is brand new in box. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that badge. Not a scratch on it. Mint. Right. Okay. So what I need to do is do some tests on it first and find out why it's not working. So I'm going to plug it in. Oh, and that's the power gone. So as you can see from the power cut, we have a problem. As soon as I press the switch it on, power went. Something rattling in that plug, which doesn't look happy. Let's have a look. Okay, that's just the... Earth wire uh, screw we need to screw in. Okay, so the fuse is fine. Surprised that didn't blow. The next place I want to check is in here. Yep, that's fine. Right, so the next thing I want to do now is to take the hood off. There's a screw down here. Gently lift it off. There you'll see the hood and the lens. Look at that. No carbon dust, no nothing. I'm sorry, I keep going on about it, but it's just like, wow. Put that out of the way, nice and safe. So this is what we're gonna be concentrating on here which uh, was the, this is where the suppressor was. And let me get a flat blade screwdriver. Some of these, you were able to just literally just cut off the suppressor and put the wires back in, and others you weren't. And I have a feeling that this is a different one. So I've taken the brown wire that was there going through here. So this is the job that we did on the um, removal of the suppressor. I've done a 
understand why, but I can see why I went wrong. Black wire, black wire to black wire, red to there. Right, okay. That seems all right. Let's try it again. Yay! Oh my God, I feel like such a numpty. We were, I was almost there, but look, listen. So what I had done is, or what we'd done, is here was the suppressor and the wires go into it. And there were these two wires that we cut here. This one go into the suppressor. This one go into here, which was then go into there. But I, what we should have done was removed this completely. So you have to remove this brown wire if you're doing one of these. I doubt very much you will, but there we go. So you just do not splice that wire back together. It causes a short. They, they're just different, okay? This is a really, really old one. So there we go, that is that. So now we've got it back working. It is still a little bit dry. So what I wanna do is take off the top. Okay, and there's the bearing in there. And what I wanna do with this is put some oil, some Singer oil, into this bearing. I wanna leave it there for a little while. Okay, so that's penetrated through lovely. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my proper grease and pop a little bit inside, just a tiny bit. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's plug that back in and try it again. Let's put the light on it. Unplug it. Now we can put the hood back on. Flip it back over. Screw the screws back in. Now I didn't get sent any of the, the rest of it uh, simply because um, it was just for me to um, try and fix the problem why it wasn't starting. So let's plug it back in, switch it back on and we'll test this switch. Now let's 
put oh actually before I do that I'm gonna use some of this just to give it a little wipey wipey let me just get some of my wire wool for this hang on and I'm going to turn it on and clean off some of that rust For God's sake, if you're going to do anything like that, be super careful. Do not want to get your fingers trapped in it. This hasn't even been used on the floor yet. When it was bought, the owner hasn't even used it. After watching my videos and and other people regarding suppressors and stuff. Um, he didn't try it, which is a good idea, personally. Let's put that in. That belt isn't going to work for Toffee. I will give him a new belt. But these are the ones that I got from Doug Yaples when I was in Pennsylvania. Now I have a subscriber who lives in Erie and visits his store regular. So this is one of Doug's belts that I bought off him. Excellent, because these belts, you can't tell if you've put them on wrong. So if you were to put it on the wrong way, you wouldn't even know. Well, see, that's... I'm trying to think. Yeah, brush it the other way, that's it. <laughs> okay, put that back on. Fantastic, so there we go, that's a belt. I'll give him back the old belt, which is a genuine Hoover one, but at least now when he gets it, he can actually use it. So the last thing to do now is to put on the... Oh, it caught it on one side, but not on the other, there we go. Yep, it's got both of them. Close it up, switch it back on one more time. And there we go, we are done and dusted. Let's put it back on its proper side. And there's my cloth. Look at that. I can't stop. Um, I'm, I'm just so grateful for him to send it to me to be repaired. Well, it wasn't much of a repair, was it, basically? But we did repair it, and it's now working. It can go back to him and be used. 
and it doesn't have its hideous, horrible suppressor on it to explode at any given point. But I doubt very much I will ever be able to touch one of these in the food, you know, again, especially one that is brand new in the box. So I'd like to say a great big thank you to the owner of this for letting me have it on the program so that I can show you guys and to get it up and running. So I'm gonna leave you with a parting shot of it being on. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode.